What is up guys? Truly Slayer is back here today guys and today guys we're going to be talking about Sombra, a new character coming to Overwatch here soon. But before we get started though guys, I'd like to apologize about yesterday. Unfortunately I didn't get a video out because I had a long day of celebrating my birthday. I turned 21 yesterday so I was really happy, really having fun yesterday. But I got home and just hit the hay. It was, it was a really long day but it was a lot of fun. But today guys, we're going to be talking about Sombra. She recently got released on the website because of BlizzCon, and we're going to be basically just going over her. So first off, she's an offensive character. So she's going to be in the offensive character roster, which I can't wait to utilize her because I love offense. I, I, I know everyone seems to love offense, but I can't wait to use her. Her difficulty is a 3 star rating, so she's comparable to the difficulty level of Genji. So it's depending on actually how she is in game, I, I would I would uh, argue whether or not she's actually three diff, uh, three star difficulty. We'd have to see how she actually works in game though before we decide whether or not she's really that hard to use. But starting off guys, her gun is a machine pistol. So basically an SMG. It uh, fires in a short range spread, so you're really gonna get up in your face to really take advantage of that high damage, uh, high rate of fire. Um, second, uh, her first ability is hack. Sombra hacks enemies to temporarily stop them from using their abilities. That is, that's nice. Or hacks first aid kits to make them useless to her opponents. Now, depending on how that second part of that hack ability works, whether or not it's a temporary thing on the med pack, so let's say she goes up to a med pack, hacks it, if it's gonna sit there still hacked and unusable by the enemy, or if it's only gonna be a temporary thing, so like a couple seconds, it's gonna depend whether or not that hack uh, ability second thing is gonna be worth it or not. Next we have her thermal optic camo. Sombra becomes invisible for a short period of time, during which her speed is boosted considerably. Looking at the little video they have here for that, she goes crazy fast. Look at that, she's like Sonic. She's like She's like going supersonic fast there. It's pretty cool. I can't wait to see how that actually is in game. Also, I'm really wondering how easy or how hard it's going to be to actually see her because it's a visibility thing. I'm a Halo player, so I'm wondering if it's going to be similar to how Halo does their invisibility, where it shows like the outline of the uh, enemy. So it's not too hard, but not too easy to see her. So I really wonder how that's going to work. Uh, it is uh, disabled when she attacks or use offensive capabilities or if she takes damage. It disables it. So she gets hit once, that camel is gone, which means that speed boost is gone. Uh, I really like that speed boost though because I love getting up and behind the enemy and oh, I can't wait to see how that actually works. Next we have her translocator ability. Sombra tosses out translocated beacon. She can instantly return to the beacon while it's active. So it kind of works like uh, Tracer's recall ability. Um, you can also use it as a way to get behind the enemy lines looking at it here. You can throw it up into a place where you'd want to get and get there. So it's kind of like Reaper's teleport in a sense. But I also think you can use it defensively as well to get out of a bad situation. So it has a nice utility to it. But I would like to see how long the cooldown is on it before I say whether or not it's a good defensive or good offensive capability. But next and finally we have her ultimate or EMP. Sunbird discharges an electromagnetic energy in a wide radius, disabling enemy barriers and shields and hacking all opponents caught in the blast. Now Look at the uh, little video they have here. She just gets up behind the Reinhardt and was able to disable the McCree's ult as well as the Torbjorn turn. Now what I really wonder with this ult is, is it going to be able to go for Reinhardt shield? Because if so, you're not going to need to do that with her, which would be freaking crazy. But if you do need to get up behind, then that's going to really take advantage of the uh, translocator ability of her to get up and behind the enemy. I, I really am liking how this character is set up. I really got to see her in game and see how long the cooldowns are before I can really tell you whether or not she's going to be part of the meta. But just looking at her here, depending on whether or not her cooldowns are like crazy high, she easily could make it into the meta, guys. And I can't wait to play her in game. I can't wait to see what the skins are because she just looks fantastic. I love I love uh, Watch Dogs. So seeing a hacker character like this in Overwatch is fantastic. Please tell me what you thought about her in the description below. And guys, remember to keep on chewing and I'll keep on slaying. See all you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.